Yeah, so I started judo when I was about five. Um, Jewsbury Judo Club, so thanks Les Tolson. Uh, my dad took me there, Neil Hall. Um, from there, I've just done bits of everything really since. I've done a bit of Thai, a bit of boxing, lots of MMA from about 14. So, yeah, main influence for me is my dad. Got me involved in combat sports at a young age and never really looked back, yeah. Yeah, so Allegiance is a great gym. Obviously, I've been involved there for years, since started when about 14. Um, obviously, my dad's head coach, so great influence there. Got a load of good coaches, there's me, Guy Faro, Anthony Dilworth's a really good boxer, so we've got a lot of good guys there. Um, fought under Allegiance, cornered, trained, coach, strength and conditioning for some of the guys. Had some pro fighters as well, so yeah, that's Allegiance really, yeah. Yeah, so years ago, obviously, I started in judo. My dad as well, we both did judo. Um, dad delved into sambo. I also went and done competed. So obviously, he's brought a lot through sambo with the leg locks, a lot of wrestling, a lot of unorthodox stuff that gyms wasn't really doing at that point. I know nowadays there's a few more, but yeah, that's our influence and that's what set us apart from other gyms, really, yeah. So I started competing in MMA at a very young age, I was 16. Um, when I started, there weren't so many juniors, so I always had to fight, well, generally people older and stronger than myself. So that really influenced me into thinking, how can I level with these guys or get an advantage? So obviously, you know, technical ability means a lot, but I think a lot of the time, the strength and endurance on guys is a bit, um, what's the right word, sort of mis misleading, you know, it can make a big difference. If you look at your top fighters, a lot of them have got really good strength and conditioning coaches, very fit, very strong physical specimens. Um, I'm not saying they're going to win everything, but it definitely gives you an advantage to your game. So that's where I kind of thought the importance of it came from. And since that day, I've done it really myself, so yeah. All RM techniques, my dad's actually taught me. So top position, the head adjustment, pulling it back, the little yank, stuff like that, just makes it uncomfortable. Little details mean that you will start to submit people, the will, lose the will to defend against it. And obviously the more details you know in techniques, the more likely they are to come off. If you start rushing through stuff, you know you miss details. I'm not saying you don't need to do things fast, because you do, but if you understand what you're doing, you're definitely going to get a better end product. Yeah. So Combat Challenge is a great show. I've been going to Saif Khan shows for years, really, since I was a kid. I've cornered, I've uh, judged on there, you know, it's, it's great. We look, after the, look after the officials, we look after the fighters. Everything runs on time, it's all smooth. Definitely the thing I noticed about it from a cornering perspective was fighters were well looked after, you know, it, was, it were all ran well. We went out when they were supposed to, it wasn't an hour later. You know, I did a top-notch job, yeah.